people will take part in World AIDS Day. That's right. And here in Kern County, a little more than 2,000 people are living with the that, that disease. That's right. 23 ABC's Faven K joining us on set now with more. Faven. Good morning. Guys, we are now in our 35th year since we discovered the HIV virus, and there's still a stigma around those people that are living with HIV or AIDS. But Martha Warner Jarrett shatters most of all of them. And ironically, today on World AIDS Day is marks three years since she was diagnosed. Her story is one that you won't forget. Three years ago, Martha Warner Jarrett and her husband Ronald moved to Bakersfield to embark on a new chapter in their lives. But just six weeks after the move, the then 69-year-old retired attorney was rushed to the hospital for high blood pressure and a respiratory failure. They had me on a breathing tube by the time my husband parked the car and got into at the emergency room. Just one month shy of her 70th birthday and in a coma. Little did she know she was knocking on death's door. Nobody was sure I was ever going to wake up. But she did to life shattering news that would change the course of her life. So I was in a coma for four days. I woke up um, and found out I tested positive for HIV. Martha and her current husband Ronald had been married for four years when she was diagnosed, but he tested negative for HIV. I realized that it had come from my late husband who died in 09. Doctors told her he had suffered double pneumonia, but Martha says looking back, she now knows he actually died of AIDS. But he was 77 and so he was way outside the group that normally would be suspect, you know, as was I at my age. In her memoir titled A Rough Season, she writes, as I delved deeper into the whole HIV thing, I came to realize that Alan might well have gotten it from another man. Did you have any idea? None, none. You know, I thought we had a wonderful marriage. I had no reason to suspect he might be unfaithful. Um, I certainly never was. While she can't pinpoint exactly when her late husband gave her the disease, she says she hadn't felt like her usual healthy self for nearly two years. I had achy muscles, I was tired all the time, and my doctor over there thought it was fibromyalgia. Dr. Franco Felizarta, a local HIV and infectious disease specialist, says unfortunately these type of misdiagnoses happen all too often. If you have symptoms, it's it's very nonspecific. It, it might look like a, any other viral infection. A silent killer that he says can take anywhere from five to 10 years before a carrier experiences any symptoms. I have to think that I nearly didn't make it because it was so advanced when they caught it. You don't want somebody you love to die, so you get skewed. But then you say, well, I'll do all I can so she doesn't die. After months of rehabilitation, proper treatment, a pill she takes daily, and her loving husband by her side, the incurable disease is now virtually undetectable. Before, when we say AIDS, most likely you're going to die of AIDS. Now it's reversible. Martha now spends her time advocating for HIV awareness and says she hopes her story will serve as a wake-up call to people of all ages. Get tested. I don't care how old you are. I don't care whether you've engaged in risky behavior or not, get tested. And you know, Martha is a perfect example of why you should get tested at least once a year, whether you're married in a relationship, single, engaging in risky, risky behavior, getting that annual test is crucial. Uh, guys, there's tons of uh, World AIDS Day events happening around town. We'll have that list on our website, turn to 23.com. All right, thank Thanks, you babe. so much, Faven.